In today's video, you'll find out why this little dinosaur looking tool here is my new best friend. Okay, winding back a little bit, about 12 months ago, I switched my giant TCR rotors over from the silver platter Ultegra ones to the Durace ones. I think they look a lot better on the bike. And my wife agrees, and with her new bike, we'd ordered some new brake rotors to switch over. So that was today's task. But after watching too many videos from this guy here, Tobias, Rides of Japan, I'm a big fan, everybody subscribe, I will link below to Tobias's channel, I picked up some extra tools whilst ordering these rotors. So I have some disc spacers, they're about 0.2 or 0.25 little spacers to put between your disc and your wheel sets if you've got multiple wheel sets so you don't have to keep lining up your brake pads every time, order a set of those. And this little dude here, the disc brake alignment tool or disc pad alignment tool. It's only a few dollars, but this thing is an absolute gem. Alrighty, getting stuck in today's shopping basket. We have the shims or spacers. We have the little dinosaur tool and we have the new SMRT 900 rotors, which are the black colored ones. Now, Vaughn's chosen to go with the 160 front or remain with the 160 front and the 140 rears. I'm keen to see the weight difference between the two because we always think the larger rotor will have a, a much higher weight penalty, but we'll dig into the details today. Okay, you'll note throughout this entire video, I'm being very careful not to touch the braking surface with my oily and greasy fingers. Okay, here we go, 140 and 160. The 160 looks like a massive plate. Let's find out how much of a weight penalty there really is between the 140 versus the 160 mil rotor. Okay, zero offset. And done. The 140 coming in at exactly 100 grams. Carefully taking that off and carefully extracting the next one. The 160, how much extra does this weigh? 118, only 18 grams difference. Very surprising. I would have put my house on it being at least 40 or 45 grams heavier. So only 18 grams. Happy days. So a closer look at these shims. 0.2 millimeters thick each. I've ordered quite a number of them. It's always handy to have more than you'll ever use or ever need in case a friend needs some. And will come in handy for different wheel sets with slightly different spacing. Over to our little friend here, little dinosaur. Now how this works, that pops out, goes onto the rotor between the brake pads and then everything gets aligned and then you pull it out and hopefully the spacing or the alignment is absolutely spot on every time. Keen to put this to the test. And the lock rings themselves, silver, not a fan. I usually keep the black ones that come with the Altegra rotor, so not installing those today. Okay, over to the bike and you'll see here how easy this process is with the lock ring tool, the same tool as used for cassettes. On Shimano, so off and straight back on and using the black lock ring for the black inner colored rotors. Much better, much better. Okay, job done. On the bike and let's see if these things line up. Rear on. And that seems to have been a success. Let's double check. Aside from the wheel being slightly out of balance, there's no brake rubbing there at all. That is a good sign. Onto the front. And... Oh no. Oh no. That dreaded sound. I'll, uh Pump the brakes a few times, make sure it wasn't a fluke. No, no, we have to fix that. A closer look here and you can see it's too far over to the right 
for the caliper. So it's time to pull out our dinosaur friend and put him to the task. Now normally just loosening up the brake caliper, pulling the brakes on, tightening things back up, gives me about a 50-50 hit rate. We'll see how this goes first try. This isn't even sliding in that easy because the caliper is too far out of alignment. Push that in place. Once everything's loosened up, apply some brakes. Wiggle things around a little bit, making sure it's seated correctly. Now with a handful of brakes still on, just snug everything in place and then we'll tighten everything up and see if our dino friend has come to the party with having everything lined up first try. Alright, the big test. Ah, oh, yeah, absolutely perfect. No sound whatsoever. And let's have a close look at the alignment. And that is absolutely spot on. Same gap left and right. We're done. Alrighty, wrapping this one up for today. Quite a simple task switching those rotors over with the lock ring tool and making the bike look so much better. I do like the end result, but it's not about that. It's about this little gem here. Only a few dollars. I'll put links below. It's coming with me everywhere. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.